So, the Final Fantasy franchise has worked its way into my heart from an incredibly young age. A lot of this stems from when my dad first picked up Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 1, and I've pretty much had every single installment since that point. The only games I didn't really manage to touch in the franchise were the MMOs, and MMOs by their very definition were just something that didn't really appeal to me. I saw it as almost like a chore, stuff that you would do daily, weekly, to receive the same mundane rewards. I was thinking, well, that's kind of what I do in my real life, so why would I want to spend more time doing that inside a video game, something that I'm supposed to enjoy? Well, something definitely changed because as of the recording of this video, I now have over a thousand hours in Final Fantasy XIV. So I guess with that being said, I have to ask myself the question as to what did Final Fantasy XIV do so differently? And why is it that this is the only MMO that I've managed to dedicate over a thousand hours to? I guess for a really simple answer, Final Fantasy XIV to me becomes an MMO when I want it to be. And what I mean by that is that predominantly the game really does push the story driven narrative and kind of that single player mentality, at least early on for the most part. And I know that can be quite divisive and subjective in an MMO, there's arguments for both sides, but I do feel like if you're trying to appeal to the Final Fantasy fan base, which is ultimately what I was, that's really how you sell the game. Without diving too much into the actual story, the lore, the background, I must say that the story was one of the most compelling and one of the largest driving forces for the early game for me. And it really kind of helped me, I guess, forget about the MMO stuff so much. I mean, other than the fact that there are a few more text boxes to read and you do bump into people from time to time, if you kind of switch the MMO off in your head, it is still good old Final Fantasy. Like, everything that you want is here. The game does a fantastic job, especially early on, of keeping people on the right path and rewarding people for following the path that the game intended. And as much as you do have choice in Final Fantasy XIV, the MSQ really is where it's at and you get an abundance of experience and gear rewards for doing so. The developers aren't stupid, they want people to fall in love with the story and to do that you have to entice people to play the story. The MSQ from the offset does start on a kind of semi-linear path. You get a couple of options depending on where you choose your starting location to be, but for the most part, it's kind of a predetermined path until you get to the later stages of the game where the dialogue opens up, the characters start to flesh out, and everything just really, really comes to life. And it's so, so nice to see. I think as a newer player coming into an MMO, which was kind of worrying territory for me, especially in the Final Fantasy space, is I guess I was worried about how they're gonna translate Final Fantasy into that MMO. And honestly, I know 1.0 was a bit of a rocky situation, but I really do feel like what they've done couldn't be any better, especially when it comes to Final Fantasy. I genuinely thought when playing, like something here has got to give. If the story's there, then surely the cinematics are going to go amiss but honestly the cinematics in this game are probably one of the stronger points there are certain cinematics that I, I still can't watch properly now without getting slightly choked up or like really really hyped up about but it's just some of the most amazing set pieces to find joy even as darkness descends And amidst deepest despair, light everlasting. The cinematics, as a matter of fact, are so good that majority of players within the community will actually stop and wait for newer players in dungeons to finish watching the cutscenes so they can experience 14 in its truest form. I can't tell you how refreshing that is as someone new coming into not just Final Fantasy 14 but the MMO space because there are so many MMOs out there where people just want to, maybe perhaps they're veterans of the game and they just want to rush to the end point, or they're just, the game's plagued with toxic players that just want to ruin that new player experience. One of the most impressive moments for me throughout experiencing the cutscenes and the kind of semi single player gameplay was noticing that some dungeons won't even start 
until everyone has viewed the cutscene and had their proper experience, which is it's just surreal. And everyone's so patient with it. I mean, they've got no choice, but there's no like complaints or like, unless someone has a really long time to connect, I didn't see any complaints whatsoever. I guess to kind of balance out my compliments of the story and the MSQ, I must admit I was kind of worried about the rest of the content of the game. I've heard coming into it, the story was fantastic. I was really worried that everything else would seem kind of subpar compared to it. And yet again, I was wrong. Everything that runs alongside the story is absolutely done to the exact same standard. Even your classes or known as jobs in Final Fantasy XIV have their own storyline, their own narrative, their own cutscenes. And some of them are really, really dark and twisted. One of my favorites is the Dark Knight set, the cutscenes and the missions that you do for it. And it really, really is. It takes you, if you read it and take it all in, it takes you to a pretty weird place. But yet again, much like the MSQ, you're rewarded heavily for doing so. Some of your abilities for that class are only unlocked through doing your job quests. You get certain class gear specific to your class that you can only unlock through doing those quests as well as EXP rewards. The game understands that some people may not want to go and divert out of the way to do these quests, but if you do so, you'll be rewarded. Most MMOs these days will have you chasing around completing various different objectives or grinding for the next piece of gear that is just slightly better than what you've currently got, even at an early stage. And Final Fantasy really doesn't do that. It stops you and says, well, like, calm down, bro. Just enjoy yourself. If you are a newer player, which we all were at some point, it can be quite daunting entering some of the uh, dungeons and raids with people that you know that have done these a thousand times. And the game introduces a trust system, which introduces a group of NPCs that you can run some of the content that is newer to you with. The benefit to this is there is absolutely nothing to worry about. Even if you just want to jump in with the NPCs, have a couple of runs and not even complete it, just get used to some mechanics, you can do that. Most of the NPCs you've already built up a relationship with throughout the MSQ, and they've got some really interesting lines of dialogue. In fact, it's actually worth doing it to experience that alone. Once you've done a couple of these, you can then go ahead and jump into a, uh, a party finder, a duty finder, or a group to complete the content and not have to worry about it. The game does such a good job of taking away some of the most anxiety-ridden tasks in most MMOs, and it just makes the process easy. I can't tell you how often I find myself just standing around, just taking in the world of Eorzea and the world of Final Fantasy XIV, because it is downright gorgeous. If you pair the world, the ambience, with the soundtracks within the game, and to just call them soundtracks is massively underselling them, it is an absolute masterpiece. In fact, one of my most profound memories when I was first exploring the game was coming to an area called Annex Trine, which is like the hub of dragons. And you walk up, you're introduced to this ruins, you go inside, there's dragons everywhere. You go to the back of that room, there's stairs that lead to a cavern that leads to more dragons. Then there's a dungeon at the back of that and you're like, fuck yeah. And then on the flip side of that, you can then go to something really chill like Old Chalet and where you like enter and the music's like, I'm on holiday. Like, this is it now. I've completed the game. Get my swim shorts. I'm out. Like, seriously, I one of my favourite things to do is to just sit and kind of watch the, the maiden sort of pour water from the vase and just relax and it's it's really really cool to see which honestly was like kind of a first for me because i'm not really that sort of person i've always struggled with the idea of sitting around doing nothing in mmos i, I couldn't really quite wire my brain to understand the concept but sitting there listening to the music relaxing taking it all in was the first time that i was like do you know what like i actually really get this like i understand in fact whilst i was just sat around just chilling relaxing there was another player that was just wandered up and did the same thing as me. And I guess that gets me to my next point, which is the community. Now, yes, the community is not perfect. It's not perfect in any MMO, but they're pretty close in Final Fantasy XIV. I don't think I've ever 
asked someone a question or asked for some help and not received it in some way, shape or form. Whether you're looking for help in some of the lower end, more kind of abandoned duties, although Final Fantasy XIV does a really good job of recycling its content, whether it's help that you're looking for at that end or more high end duties, there is always someone. And if you can get yourself into a free company, then yeah, the possibilities are endless. I joined a free company a couple of months ago and I literally don't struggle for anything now. I don't struggle to find a party, help, items that you're looking for, just anything really. The social aspect of Final Fantasy XIV, in my opinion, is where it really shines. Now there are some slightly, uh, slightly different elements of socializing that you can do in XIV, but we won't talk about that. But for overall, the social arc and what people hang out in Final Fantasy XIV for it's it's all there and i think as a complete package in my experience of mmos it's it's definitely up there as one of the best if not the best mmo i've ever played so i guess this video in a roundabout way without rambling on too much is probably more of a, a thank you to the community of final fantasy 14 the developers of 14 because honestly without the experience that i've had within your game I probably wouldn't be playing MMOs, period. I probably would have thrown in the town and be like, look, they're just clearly not for me. So maybe you guys have got a similar experience. Maybe you started in a similar way, tried different MMOs, different games before, and just really didn't get on with it. Or if you did get on with them, or you really enjoyed 14 and are still playing, what was your initial experience like? Was it similar to mine? Was it different? If you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like rating. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one.